Hello everyone, and today we're going to talk about how to import data table into uh, Simil uh, from Excel to Simil. And let's take a look. I have an example called table orders right here. It has one, two, three, four, five, five columns. And first column is the daytime information, the order come in. And the second is the order number. The third is the item number. So each order could have one or two items, or one or an item, two item, or three item. Um, each order could have a product number of a different variety, and also it could have a different uh, quantity uh, for each one of those. Sure. So that's all they're stored. <coughs> So we tried to import this uh, tables into uh, CML as a data table, and we'll show you how to do that. Well, we have a very simple, uh, empty CML model. Add a table called table order one. Okay, table orders, and get the define some of the column corresponding to those. First is the time, and second is the integer should be the order ID. Okay, the third is the item ID, it's also integer, the item. And the fourth is the product ID. I'm also using an integer. And last one is the quantity. Okay, so this is the table following in what we do for exactly the same time, order, item, product, and quantity. So we have the same titles right here. The only thing is the time is the time and day information like this, and rest of them are just numerical integer. So to import this data uh, from to this table is really easy. Instead of the you, right now you on we are on the schema uh, tab. Go to the content tab, trying to create a uh, binding which is right now we want to do with Excel binding. We can just see that. And the, <clears throat> so this is the name of the table order, the Excel file I have. Okay, so we're gonna call this. So we're gonna call Excel data file one example. Um, look it up, and then you can see that on this table, we will see the range is, is actually from table order, and the range we're not going to specify. So, what after we we define the data binding, uh, we can take a look at the data connection portion. This is defined, and you can see that uh, these are the column we're trying to import. Um, and then we go back to the table, trying to import it on the content portion. So we got to import correctly. That's all there's to it. And you can take a look how we actually done this. And the alternative way we can do this, we're going to do another table uh, using a CSV file. Sometimes you have the data format issue. So let's take a look the table order two. Oh, sorry. Going to call it table order two. Same thing. I'm going to have the first is a daytime format. And we'll call the time. Second, we're going to have one, two, three, four. And the first one we're going to call it, <clears throat> what is it? Uh, order. Okay. So 
second one, we're going to call it item. Third one, we're going to call this product. <clears throat> and the fourth one, we're going to call the quantity. Okay. So we're going to define another data binding. Go to the content tab, create a new one. This time we're going to call it a CSV file. Um, let's just say, okay. For this, we can do easily. We can come up here and save this file into, save as a CSV file, table order, CSV file. Oh, sorry, CSV file. And then you save it to the same. I already did done that, so we can, uh, let me do it one more time. Table order CSV file, save, it will say override it. Okay, so now we're going to create an, another data binding for this, called CSV file, and click on OK. And this is a CSV file we have importing. And the file name, we're going to call this table orders.csv. OK. So we can see if we can transfer that. Close this. All right, yeah, for CSV files, for some reason, you have to close the Excel file or text editor file in order to, for it to uh, transfer in. Uh, so I show you two different ways to import the data table, and this is, uh, I hope this is helpful. Thank you very much.